Hey there, everyone. This is SoCal playing Anodyne, and uh, yeah, we got the whole half hour done. Yeah, uh, last time we finished the temple I was at, and then I, you know, I ended up at what feels like it's gonna be the real first hub of the game, and that's fine. Uh, and I looked around, there's a lot of ways out of here that I do not have the tools to go. But this place I have access, and the rock near uh, the bike person mentioned that to the west lied the beach. So, yeah, here we are. It's beach time. Uh, can we go on the wall? Okay, the, the, the sea is, is a wall. That's fine. Cannot pry ourselves between these trees. There are steps clearly on the sand. Oh, this fisherman fishing a weir. But can I not talk to you? Uh, I just put. Sorry about that. <laughs> what did I just do? So there's a blood portal here now. If you're into that, um. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen! I was trying to talk, and when I saw that I wasn't talking, I kept trying to talk. <laughs> I am the victim here. Welcome to the H. H on a beach. I don't know what's going on there, but I need to open this gate before anything can happen. Gate, and I can't go there. Okay. All right, here's the rock puzzle. No? You're not supposed to put them so they're all nice and lined up. Feel a compulsion to try to push them around, but... Okay, well... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And there's that's how we get to the upper ledge. Or you can go here, too. That also leads to the upper ledge. Uh! Gotta put that uh! It's over here, welcome to the mountain. Gonna stab a slime in the face. And here it leads to the woods. And it still leads to the woods. And then I'm somewhere completely new. There's a dwarf hitting a sword at the bush. He's having a great time. Rank! Wow! Oh, jeez. That is an aggressive chunk of sound. And it's like it's like I was having his text multiple times there. On bush cutting. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, uh, if you try to talk to his middle, you're gonna get multiple talks at the same time. Opening path! So, I guess I'm compelled to try and fill up hub, hub, the hub, faded hub before returning to the beach. It's, it's what I'm doing right now. I'm shocked this wasn't on a map before. Well, I can't go beyond there. One day I'll have the ability to deal with rocks. But that day is not today. Game got real angry when I tried to talk to him multiple times. This leads to here, up here. I saw this path before. In spite of that tile looking like an arrow, you can go against the sense of that arrow. Do not worry, your little self, young. As you destroy the living things around you, they repay you with their own life force. Ensuring that you are on the right side of the universe, probably. Down here, bat, lava low, there's no time for that. Stab a slime, and that is fine. Stab with a broom? Yeah, that's what we're doing. And this is gonna lead to that chest. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, it will. Just follow this path here on a pier and look at that lobster claw. Oh no, okay, sorry. It's a langostino. Hey, Hughes. Hey, you look pretty cool. That is pretty rad. That is also super rad. I agree. 
friend, we are automatically instantly best friends. Anyway, here's a man that never existed. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, okay, gotta turn the page. That's true! That is very specific! <laughs> open the door. Oh boy. Door is open. We did it. We solved that puzzle. Still not interested in the blood whirlpool yet. I will soon enough. Just not yet. We're at fun time beach time time. Cannot go there. Fun beach time beach beach time beach beach time. It's where we are, you know? Look at that. The pier. The empty pier. Here's a ghost. I stabbed the ghost with my broom. It did nothing for no one. But I did it. I need eight cards to cross that threshold. But I'm still gonna clear the scene. I don't have eight cards, do I? It stubbornly remains in play. Yeah, I have five cards. Three cards are required more to access that gate. I'm saying that out loud, even though it's pretty obvious. Well... Maybe there's some booster packs in the blood vortex. Kind of weird to think about, isn't it? The map's kind of playing with me. Because like, I can see their side path, but it's because the whole map doesn't fit on the map area. That's okay. You are forgiven. It's a, you know, it's a big area. There's uh, lots of scenes that are just like, check it out, it's me, I'm screen. Wow. Never thought I'd see the day. Anyway. I heard a guy fell in here. It's pretty, it's pretty rough, man. Can't imagine what actually happened. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, turkey legs. Okay, they don't hurt. Just big old turkey legs. Turkeying it up. Ah, but slimes though. Slimes we can fight. This old grass kind of makes a heart, kinda. If your imagination and heart is pure. Turkey leg! Walk around! Little guy! Little stone guy! No. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, rock. Little rock friend was not a rock, nor a friend. Alright, if I had another one south from there and I found out that there's just nothing to do. By the way, I'm just casually underwater here, don't worry about it. Again, if I would have down here, which I could have done, I would have encountered a big nothing. Ah, nice, okay. You are now in my nexus, nexus. I pressed the button already. Wait, how would I get, oh, yeah, I opened up a gate down there, got it. Do you wish to be alone? <laughs> yes, you do. You didn't even bother talking. I respect that, honestly. Get that chest and the talking rock. That is what brings me life in life. The joys of a rock with words on it. And the water? Yeah, they're probably all drowned. Hey, turkey legs! Can I know your name? I oh, don't know. It's right here. Sometimes the answer is taking a walk. You would say that, turkey leg. You would say that. Hey, wanna blow up in my face? Sweet. <laughs> I'm glad we got that thing going between us. Uh, I am going to go back here and push south. See what there is to see. Experience what there is to experience. Uh, that, whoa, unbelievable. Ah, that about ain't moving. Ah, now it's moving. The sun it looks like there's a side passage clearly here, but not for me. Not today. Stumps in the water and bats flying nicely in the sea. Here's a button and an entrance for me. What is this actually? Is that like the next? I think this is the next jung jungle. Yeah, next temple. Next dungeon. Well, I'm not ready yet. Welcome to the turkey feel with all the turkeys just do feel Feeling great Yeah, it's it's true Stomping around no real business 
No sense of trade. Just stomping about endlessly forever. It could be poetic. Blow up! Look at that. I've trained them perfectly. <laughs> Alright, here's some stuff I can squiggle. So this is like a big ol' like entire area of vaguely red water. I don't know what could have been the cause of the red though. It's probably the jello, you know? They're red. Probably dissipate a little bit. I feel like uneven terrain is typically formed by nature not really caring much for evenness. No. Perfect shapes just do not really exist in nature. Who are you? Is it? Is it? Yeah, underwater would do that to a person, I think. Accurate. Oh, this looks, this looks important. Yeah, it's the true path to Mr. Temple. And there's even a down here. Oh, hello. Second layer of Mr. Temple? No, this is a different Mr. Temple. There are two temple-like entities. And it looks like there's room for a third one here that's just not here at this point in time. Same here. Okay, that's fascinating. And if you look on a map, they do be making a shape. Yeah, and there's room for another one here. Okay, that's interesting, legitimately. Like, I don't really know what that means, what are the implications of that. It has been noted. I'm just gonna bump into enemies all day long. That's why the game reminds me a lot of Zelda 1. The game where that constantly happens. These are just empty screens! Oh, I need to open that. Open up all the gates. Otherwise, I will be sad. That's how it works. Am I taking the game too unseriously? I hope no one feels like that. There's just a vibe that I find just beautiful about this game. And while it is extremely moody, it... I feel like... It's an atmosphere that cheers me up. I don't... I forget of that. Like, saves. Uh, if I look at the overwhelmed map here... Oh, no, no, there are... Path going up. I have not ventured into, which I will venture into right now. But I don't think I will move beyond this. But! Wait. Button! I pressed a button! I don't know what that did. But I press it. Sup! Yeah! And this is this place. I like there's <laughs> lots of terrain behind terrain. So I just pressed an errant button down here in the wild. Do you think it would have made another temple like structure sprout? This is still empty. This is still here. Still empty. I don't know if buttons have the ability to do anything outside of their screen. I need to press that button, I think. Alright, I can arrange that. I've been there before. Why did I not press that button when I saw it the first time? I think the answer is that I didn't see the button. Ah, uh, see button! Like, I can press it there. But then it's depressed. So whatever they are for, I don't think I have the ability to make them meaningful now. Same thing. Like it's there, I can press it all day long. But if I lean the screen and go back, like nothing happens. All right, the other temple entrance has a save inside it. So I'm gonna go there, I'm going to save. Or I can just save in front of it, but I'm gonna save in front of the temple that has a save in it. Cause that, to me, makes it sound like it is the intended first step. And next time, that's what we're gonna be doing. Today, a lot of wandering around. No meaningful action towards any NPCs happen. It's, uh, it's pretty wild.